Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now I know that season 2 has pretty much only just been released but some screenshots for season 3 have also appeared online. I've managed to find these in one of the Facebook groups that I'm in so I thought that I would share with you guys what's going to be coming up in season 3. Now obviously in last week's Playground Games sort of live stream they only really delved into series 2 and then they briefly showed a couple of cars that you'll end up winning in series 3 but that was about it. You didn't really see any of the challenges or what you've actually got to do to win some of these cars so now you will be able to now like i said i know this is about three weeks away from the time of filming this but nevertheless i thought it was pretty interesting and as you guys know there's about 24 cars that have been released and only half of them have been released in series two so i'm going to show you guys how you can win them in series three now obviously this this series will start in about three weeks time so middle of january now for the overall series prizes you'll be able to uh, win the newly added zenvo ts1 and the ford mustang 1971 as well now in the summer series you can win the ferrari 488 gtb and the other newly added toyota celica 2003 as well through some of the challenges, you'll be able to win the old school Jaguar E-Type, a few wheel spins and a super wheel spin, as well as the number 25 Ford Bronco, the Maserati GTS and the mini John Cooper Works buggy as well. Moving on to the autumn season here, you can win the Donkavert GTO and the Toyota AT37. Obviously these cars both appeared in Forza Horizon 4, but are coming back as new cars in Horizon 5. As well as that, you can win the Mitsubishi Lancer GSR 1999, the 2011 VW Scirocco, Aerial Atom and a load of wheel spins as well. Moving on to the Winter Series, you can win the Porsche Carrera and the Toyota AT38, which similar to the AT37 was in Horizon 4 and has been added back into Horizon 5 as well. For some of the challenges, you can win the GMC Van Dura, the 2012 BMW M5 and the Aerial Nomad, none of them are newly added. And again, some more wheel spins and an emote as well. Now for the final season, you've got two more newly added cars. You've got the Jaguar XKR S and the Lotus Vauxhall Carton, which is a very, very cool car. And again, both of them were in Horizon 4 as well. Now for some of these challenges, you can win the number 23 Nissan, I believe RR stands for Rally Raid, and a Jaguar XES and a Buick Regal GNX, as well as some more wheel spins as per the previous seasons. So all in all, that's where a lot of the new cars will come through. Now, obviously, that's not all of the remaining cars that weren't added into Series 2. A couple of them will more likely than not appear as uh, car pack cars. So for those that have the ultimate pack, for instance, or the car pass, that's how you'll be able to get them. You'll get them for free. For those who don't, unfortunately, you won't be able to. But I believe every now and again, there's a sort of glitch where you can actually buy them in the auction house. Whether you can use them or not, I don't know. Um, but obviously, if you need to take photos of them, they will still appear driven by AIs in ver various races. So anyway, that's what's going to be appearing in Season 3 next month. Hopefully, you guys like the look of this stuff. Let me know if you do or if you don't or just your general opinions on it down below in the comments. But apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would very much appreciate if you could drop a like and subscribe and massively helps me out as well. Apart from that, take care and stay safe.